Sherlock Holmes solves the riddles of Revelation. How many raptures? Holmes, you have questions in the mail. Shall I read one? Please do. How many raptures or resurrections do you think there will be? Think, by that they mean to assume. You know my methods, Watson. I never assume. To assume is to take for granted which is a foundation without reinforcement. Rather, Watson, unlike the solving of the crimes of humanity, when it comes to the matter of interpreting Bible prophecy, I base my knowledge upon the reliable word of God from which can be proven all things. The King James Bible, Holmes. Precisely, Watson. To wit, I have discovered that there is but one rapture one first resurrection, with Christ the first fruit, and afterward they that are Christ's at his coming. Why then would some claim that there is a rapture of the church before the seven-year period, known as Daniel's 70th week? And then they say there will be a harvest rapture at the end of the seven years. Aha, Watson, the rapture and the harvest, two different events, but a thousand years apart, good fellow. What, not two raptures seven years apart? Please explain yourself, Holmes. I will explain directly from balanced scripture, Watson. Jesus said that he shall raise all believers on the last day. And by the way, that must include the two witnesses found in Revelation chapter 11. That's a one day, one time first resurrection that happens when the sun and the moon go dark and there's a great earthquake and the stars fall from heaven. The angels come down from heaven to gather the resurrected saints. Again, the rapture, which is also referred to as the resurrection or our gathering together unto him shall happen on the day of Christ. When the sun and the moon go dark, immediately after the tribulation. And then there is the harvest at the end of the world. Wait, Holmes, are you now saying that the end of the world is going to happen at the end of the seven years? No such thing, Watson. Listen up, good fellow. Jesus said that the harvest is the end of the world, when the earth will be judged with fire and all there is therein shall melt with fervent heat. An event that shall happen when the reserved seventh vial of God's wrath is poured out into the air. An event that will happen after the thousand-year reign of Christ on earth. Oh, I'm beginning to see, Holmes. One first resurrection, with Christ being the first fruits, and then those that are his at his coming. That's all known as the first resurrection. And then after the millennial reign of Christ on earth shall come the harvest. Correct, Watson. That's when the tares are gathered to be bound, ready to be burned, and the good seed is gathered into the barn, heaven. And is that when the great white throne judgment seat of God happens? That's what the Bible says. And that is what we could call the second resurrection. When the dead, the unsaved, shall be raised to be judged on judgment day. But those who take part in the first resurrection don't take part in that judgment. Right, Holmes? Correct again, Watson. Those who take part in the first resurrection will be at the judgment seat of Christ when he hands out his rewards to the saints, all those who have believed in Jesus and are saved by faith. Uh, Watson, you've presented many thoughts and have many questions about many things. This is true, Holmes, and I can see that you're seeking to understand the truth. This is also true, Holmes. Then, Watson, you'll probably find all your questions answered and expounded upon throughout the Jesus Explained series on YouTube and also on Rumble. And you'd also benefit by exploring endtimesofficial.com. That's endtimesofficial.com. The End Times Teaching Ministry, where Bible prophecy is made easy to understand.